Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Third Wave's presentation titled Trade Compliance, a Necessary Actor for a Resilient Global Supply Chain. We are aiming for this webinar to be 60 minutes. We might go a little over if need be, but it is being recorded, and the recording and slides are going to be emailed to you in the coming couple days. Hopefully, we're going to have time for questions at the end of the presentation, so please write your questions in the dialogue box and we will do our best to answer as many as we can. If we cannot get to one of the questions, we will answer those in the follow-up email. Before I turn it over to our speaker, Ned Blinick, as the Director of Sales for Third Wave, I'd be remiss if I didn't quickly plug Third Wave and how we help companies. Third Wave is a software platform that simplifies the global supply chain. Third Wave enables the highly effective management of a company's global supply chain by aggregating and centralizing data from the various actors within it, the ERP, suppliers, freight forwarders and carriers, warehouses, and customs brokers. Third Wave represents a dramatic leap forward in the management of global supply chains. Supply chain applications have historically been expensive to acquire and even more expensive to implement, making it only accessible to very large organizations. Third Wave is focused on making its industry leading tools accessible to everyone, including smaller companies with fast implementation times and low subscription costs. While we are committed to helping our customers achieve excellence as it pertains to global trade, we are equally committed to educating the global trade community. We believe that companies big and small should be striving towards excellence and it is our job to help them envision it and push them to realize it, regardless of whether they are using the third wave platform or not. All right. Uh, let's get to uh, the webinar and specifically Ned Blinick. Uh, you can see on the screen right now, there's a, a, a quick biography of Ned Blinick. He is our chief product officer and he has been involved in the third wave organization for more than 30 years. He truly is an expert in this field in general, trade compliance specifically, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this talk on uh, resilient global supply chains and how we can Im each improve our own. So without further ado, here's Ned. Thanks, Grant, and good afternoon, everyone. This topic, trade compliance, a necessary actor for a resilient supply chain, is something that we feel very strongly about here at Third Wave. When we look at global trade, the role of trade compliance is subtle. It is often misunderstood, and certainly it is often underappreciated. However, trade compliance is truly a very important activity in global trade. I can't overemphasize how that activity and the activities at the border have such a serious impact on supply chain activity. When everything is going smoothly, trade compliance is largely seen as a necessary cost, but not as adding much value. However, when things go wrong at the border, everyone immediately looks to trade compliance to fix it, immediately. So the purpose of the webinar is to really talk about how trade compliance is potentially a real resource for the organization to, for supply chain resiliency planning by helping the organization position itself to respond appropriately when a major disruptive event takes place. Let me explain why this topic is important to me. As Grant mentioned, I was an importer exporter, and there were several times in my career in this capacity that I ran into situations where disruption occurred and had major implications for my organization. I grew to understand how without thoughtful consideration about resiliency, we were at a very serious disadvantage. But I also grew to appreciate how the way the company responded had major implications for the way we managed our supply chain and the product within it. I learned that understanding the implications of customs and regulatory agencies rules at the border could disrupt our recovery plans if not addressed. So during this webinar, we will look at four basic areas that are important when discussing the role of trade compliance and supply chain resiliency. We will firstly look at the definition for resiliency in the context of the supply chain. We will next look at several reasons why resiliency is important. 
we will explore the two major aspects that are fundamental to minimizing the effects of disruption on a supply chain. And finally, we will look at why trade compliance can and should transform itself from a passive to an active player in both supply chain design and resiliency planning. 